Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. It looks like my friend Flatsoid has decided to try and poke the bear. Apparently he's going to have a couple hour hate fest on me today. He's apparently a little butthurt about my live stream yesterday where I went over his discussion with Critical Think on what constitutes a scientific experiment. Now he's going to come out and try and correct me. So let's see what his main problem is. Test that prediction. That's where your independent, dependent, and controlled variables and all the other things they like to go on and on about. The independent and dependent variable is not part of the hypothesis. <laughs> the hypothesis is your proposed mechanism that explains what you saw. Independent and dependent variable is not part of the hypothesis. The hypothesis is your proposed mechanism that explains what you saw. Independent and dependent variable is not part of the hypothesis. The hypothesis is your proposed mechanism that explains what you saw. The first part of the sentence, daily apple consumption, states the independent variable, which is the cost. The second part states the dependent variable, frequency of doctor's visits. Well, very good, Flatsoid. Uh, you still don't know what a scientific experiment is, and apparently you're confused about what the hypothesis is even. So let's go ahead and take your example. The hypothesis is that eating apples will make you healthy. So based on your hypothesis, you make a prediction that if you eat a lot of apples, you will have fewer visits to the doctor. So when you set that up as an experiment, your independent variable will be the number of apples you eat, and your dependent variable will be the number of doctor's visits you have. So if you're going to try and correct an actual scientist on the scientific method, you should really learn it yourself. Just here trying to help, my man.